Oh, hey everyone, and welcome to part four of our series on how to add artificial intelligence to your ManyChat bot, so your bots become smarter and more responsive uh, to messages that users send you. It's like this new one that ManyChat now supports, which is the thumbs up. So uh, all you'll need to do is you'll need to go into your keyword section of your bot, and, uh, and you'll need to create a new rule. Um, you can see here that uh, the message is thumbs up and that will put this blue thumbs up here. Uh, and this is a very common input from your users. And you know you can create a response uh, by sending them to a flow. I've created this flow called thumbs up and in it, you'll see here that I've created an action. And that action says, that uh, the, if the custom field is called event, see event, and the value is thumbs up, then we're going to want to then start another flow, and that flow is going to be our default reply. And so in the first three episodes of this series, I showed you um, how you can get uh, uh, dialogue flow and many chat communicating with each other. You can use Janus janus.ai and it's free to uh, connect Janus. You just simply add Janus to a workspace. Uh, currently Janus works in Slack and uh, and Janus will walk you through it and help you get your uh, your many chat connected to Dialogflow. Powerful conversational AI from Google. Uh, so once you're connected, uh, there's uh, a lot of cool things you can do and you're going to want to redirect your uh, your default reply in many chat to Janus and Janus will then forward uh, all everything your bot doesn't understand or hasn't been trained to do uh, to Dialogflow. So you can create a very uh, compelling response. You can create an intent uh, like this. Let's create this intent. And uh, you can create the intent, we'll just call it thumbs up test. Now, there's a lot of things I'm going to show you around the thumbs up, but we're going to break this up into a couple of videos. So in this one, um, you know, you might want, these are things that users say uh, that are similar to a thumbs up, like yes, okay, thanks, perfect, amazing, awesome. So these are uh, things that users might say, and the thumbs up kind of fits into that. And... Uh, one of the things you'll want to do is you can't add a thumbs up here because this thumbs up is not an emoji. Uh, and, uh, it's not Unicode. That's what they call it. So it's instead, it's a PNG file. It's an image file. So all you really need to do is if you click this events, you just need to add an event. And that event is going to be thumbs up. Thumbs up is the event. And that's because uh, we're, we've created um that custom field called event and we've set it the value to thumbs up so as long as the value of the custom field um, matches what you have in this events section of a dialogue flow intent you'll get a response now let's say i want to say uh our response is just going to be really simple thanks but what's cool is you can add multiple responses so uh cool uh, got it, right on, okay, and so you can keep going, and what this is going to do is this is going to allow you to create uh, random responses, so it makes your, uh, adds a little bit of depth to your conversational experience, and so we just click save, and there you get the message, agent training completed, and now let's test it out. So we should get one of these responses. Right on. Right on. <laughs> they just picked that one randomly. Let's see if we get a different one. Cool. Got it. Okay, so as you can see, we were easily able to create random responses to the thumbs up. Now you'll have to stick around uh, for episode five. I'm going to show you how you can create 
responses to this depending on the context of which your user is responding. So your user, you may be having a conversation with your user and they respond with that thumbs up, but you're going to want to respond directly to the thumbs up based on the context of the conversation. So that's coming up soon. Thanks for watching.